Hi everybody, I'm Shanae and welcome back to another SCZ Live. For those of you that were just with us, I'm so sorry if you saw us and you lost us. We're trying a couple different pieces of equipment today and, and apparently that one isn't the piece of equipment to use. But I was mentioning that out of all of the Facebook Lives we've done, um, this is one of my most exciting because we're here at one of the animals that just amazes and fascinates me every day. And that's the Kia. And I'm even more excited to have Hannah here with us today. Hannah's one of our zookeepers that works in our bird department. Hannah, tell us about the amazing Kia. Absolutely. So Kia are a species of parrot that are native to New Zealand. They are the only alpine parrot that exists in the world. So these guys, <laughs> as, I imagine she'll have lots to say during this video. Um, they are the only alpine parrot in the world. So they live in the mountainous regions of New Zealand, um, uh, close to Australia, right guys? So um, they are uh, bean parrots. They are eat a lot of fruit and whatnot, but they are also omnivorous. So they also will occasionally eat meat and other birds' eggs, things that they can find. And in fact, um, they are considered endangered because farmers from New Zealand believed that they were killing off their sheep. So they are considered endangered, but we are hoping to help with that uh, through the work of uh, accredited zoos and whatnot. Um, so I can, we can head in and we can get kind of an up close video of some of these and I'll tell you about our two Kia that we have. Now Facebook friends, Hannah did warn us that the birds are pretty excited that we're going right? to be here and they might just even land on us or the camera during this adventure. So if all of a sudden we go green, it's no <laughs> technical difficulty, it's just a beautiful Kia. So you're focused in on uh, Kiri right now. She is our older female that we have. So she is 11 years old. We got her in, I believe, let's see, 2012 from the San Diego Zoo. <laughs> I have a Kia playing with my foot. Yes. <laughs> so she is, uh, yes, 11 years old, hatched in 2009. And down there, that is MacGyver, or we call him Mac for short. Hey, buddy. Um, he's five years old and he's inspecting my shoelaces right now. <laughs> um, but he came to us in 2019 from the Cincinnati Zoo. Do you want a great buddy? What do you think? Ooh, nope. <laughs> oh, but they are very inquisitive, very playful. Um, that's kind of another reason that they have um, some trouble in the wild where they're from. They love to investigate what people are doing constantly. Um, so they are both a nuisance for the people <laughs> native to New Zealand, um, but they're also a draw for tourists because everyone wants to hang out with these birds. Why wouldn't you? Well, Hannah, you can really see how they use those beaks, Absolutely. how they can just get those sharp beaks right underneath things mm -hmm. and really start to pry them apart. Yes, they're very good at that. I have read that one of the things <laughs> they love to do is disassemble cars. That is the truth. In New so, Zealand. Yes. How much do they weigh? They weigh uh, normally no more than two pounds. They're pretty light, although they look kind of stocky as far as parrots goes, right, buddy? Um, but yeah, they're only about two pounds at the max, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, what else? Yes, they definitely like to tear apart cars. They have, uh, there's a popular picture of one of them floating around the internet of one taking apart a windshield wiper <sighs> straight off of a car. And also the, um, uh, plastic around windows and doors and whatnot. They love to tear it apart. Uh, I also have a fun story. They were uh, construction crews in New Zealand couldn't figure out why their um, yellow cones were being moved when they were doing road work. Uh, and so they found out that Kia were going and playing with them and moving them across the roads. And so cars were having trouble figuring out where to go. <laughs> it's because of the Kia. And you've got you one guys cannot office. see this, but Kara has a Kia on her bum. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can swing this around here. Well, Diver loves to see, pockets. That's to see sure. just exactly where we just had a Kia show up. Kara has cargo pants on. <laughs> What are you see, doing, buddy? There is a Kia all over her. That was so super exciting. Great and, job. And I, I, have, I have known Kara now for about 15 years, and I've never what heard her doing? giggle like that ever in my life. That was awesome. You want another grape? No. Well, as I said earlier, guys, one of the great things is we get as excited um, doing these FCZs live <laughs> as you do. 
And now when you heard me talk about the amazing Kia from the beginning, you can certainly see why. <laughs> and she just, for anybody who wants to know if they can be dangerous, um, they just, they just, she just put a hole in Kara's good um, Duluth trading pants here. So, oh, and now we're going to go for the Keens. And we've got Carrie above us yelling about it. She does love to talk. To we speak can her see mind. a pie. What do you think? Now, those vocalizations um, <laughs> are one good reason why parrots shouldn't be pets, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yes, it is very loud. If you visited the zoo at all in the past <laughs> year, you've probably heard that from way out in the main path. That would be uh, Kiri yelling. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Climbing up Kara's pants. Um, let's see. Cadence wants to know how long can they live? How long can they live? That's a good question. Hi, you're going to inspect my shirt now, aren't you? Um, but let's see. I want to say they're, I mean, a moderate sized parrot. So I want to say, I'm not entirely sure. He's digging around with my hair. Oh, yeah. uh, I would say probably 20 to 50. 30 years at least. Hi. Like MacGyver here is only five. Kiri is 11. So uh, that tickles. <laughs> <laughs> now a lot of people out there are yeah. saying their dogs are going crazy as they're listening mm -hmm. to the to the Kia's call back and forth. Yes. Oh my now, one of the Good things job. that I find amazing is the coloration of Kias. Now, I truly believe they're beautiful. I think those yes. greens are spectacular, mm -hmm. but I don't know if anybody out there can see when they fly from place to place that red yeah. on their wings Absolutely. as well. They have a bright orange underneath their wings. It's hidden when they're, when they're tucked away, um, but they are that beautiful olive green color. Yeah. You can see their feet. They have two toes in the front and two toes in the back. It helps them climb around. That's how all parrots' feet are. It's called zygodactyl feet. Good job. Can they learn to repeat words, Hannah? Um, Kiri, let's see. Uh, Kia don't too much. They do a lot of noises. I haven't heard them make too many, like, actual, good job, uh, humanoid sounds. It's more of the yelling. And uh, when MacGyver calls, he, his voice is actually a little more shrill and he has kind of a vibrato when he calls more than Kiri does. Um, but they mostly make their own sounds. Now, right? I know earlier you said that they are more of, a, of a, an animal that would be found on a mountainous area. Mm -hmm. It's a little chilly outside today. Yes. Tell me about how they are with weather temperatures. So they actually love the cold. They are the only parrot that stays out when it is cold and all the rest of our macaws and cockatoos are going inside. I have no idea what he's doing in my he's hair. just loving your Okay, body. that's fine. Um, but uh, yeah, they're the only parrots that stay out while everyone else goes inside for the winter. And in fact, they don't need to come inside until it's 10 degrees out. So, um, and even in the wild, in the mountainous regions, if they get too hot, they will move further up the mountain to where it is colder. Now, some of our viewers have noticed their longer pointier beaks. Mm -hmm. Why do they have maybe a longer beak than some other parrots? Well, might? as other parrots eat more fruits and vegetables and whatnot, and these guys are more omnivorous, that kind of helps them. Um, they do get a bit of an egg in their diet every day. That's their favorite part. Um, and that kind of provides that extra protein that they enjoy. Oh, I think we're thinking of running around, considering takeoff. There we go. All right. <laughs> yeah. So that's Kiri up there and MacGyver okay. is above us. And is this a mated pair? Um, we're hoping to get babies out of them someday, but MacGyver has never been with a mate before. So he is still kind of figuring this whole thing out. And so she is definitely the boss of him right now. But hopefully <laughs> they will um, figure the, everything out, get to know each other a little bit better. And uh, fingers crossed that we do get babies someday. Uh, my fingers are crossed, Absolutely. I know that. Absolutely. Again, I think they're one of the most amazing animals um, <laughs> that we have here at the zoo. Absolutely. Is there anything that makes them more nervous or scared than, than anything else here at the zoo? Or what about in the wild? Do you know, what? do they have a, a threat? Uh, mainly people are their main threat. Um, like I said, farmers were concerned that they were attacking and killing their sheep. There have been a few reports of that, but they're very, very rare and few and far between. Um, but that, uh, them, that's just them trying to steal a little morsel of food. 
Um, but mostly, uh, yes, and the, the fact that they do interrupt what humans are doing. Uh, those traffic cones I mentioned earlier, um, uh, construction crews actually had to build little jungle gyms on the side of the road oh my gosh. to keep the Kia distracted so that the cones could stay in place. And you'll also notice I have lots of enrichment up throughout the exhibit in here. You've probably been hearing lots about enrichment for the other um, live videos. But uh, I have some hung up. They've already dug some grapes out of the pool and out of little cups and whatnot. Uh, by tomorrow morning, I would imagine that most of this will be shredded and all over the floor of the exhibit. <laughs> I love how they're watching us. And, and Hannah, you've done a great job of showing some of those different enrichment pieces. Absolutely. We right here have that, um, the, the beads that they can play with. Yep, nice we look wind. down here, there's this ball, which we can use as a feeder ball. Um, there's also different uh, toys and things in here. Stuff and Stuff that's already been scattered from before the video even started. They were going at it. And I can always come back and enrich them. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> That's right. Please. Kara became great enrichment today as, as they hung off her pant pocket. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys, even though Sedgwick County Zoo is closed, we are still caring each and every day. Um, that enrichment is so important to animals like the Kias that spend their time trying to outsmart us at every move. Thanks, everybody, so much for visiting with the Kia today. Remember, even though we're closed, we're still caring.